To understand how a forest grows, or why and where a river flows, we must first go out and directly observe our environment. Field stations and marine labs connect scientists, educators, and communities to their environments by bringing the basic tools of science into the field. These living laboratories place scientists on the front lines of our changing Earth. But to fulfill their unique role, field stations must continue to evolve by adopting new technologies, developing even stronger networks, and incorporating more entrepreneurial leadership, field stations can meet the challenges of a rapidly changing world. City, mountain, prairie, desert, forest, ice, or sea. All of these environments are home to field stations. Though they range in size and scope, field stations are windows into ecosystems that provide unique educational and research opportunities. Away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, field stations foster collaborations among scientists from different disciplines. Field stations provide hands-on, discovery-based learning for students of all ages. New tools, such as mobile apps, allow citizen scientists to collect data in unprecedented ways. But field stations are often overlooked for infrastructure upgrades and funding. We need to document the valuable roles field stations play in science and society with better metrics of their performance and impact. Long-term environmental data help scientists to forecast change. More robust networks of field stations would make it easier to share these data and transform them into knowledge that aids decision-making. Imagine the potential of linking field stations to other organizations to pool data on the impacts of a regional drought, an extreme storm, or longer-term environmental changes resulting from human activities. Field stations have long been vital links to the environment through research, education, and community outreach. Harnessing their power and potential will help us better understand our shifting climate and ecosystems create the knowledge we need to conserve the natural world.